it's five in the morning and I think my water's just broke. I'm so excited. It's now an hour later. I've left Ingmar to sleep in bed because if this is labour, I'm talking to the camera. I need him to have energy and be my support. Yeah? Do you want to say morning? I think my water's broken. I love how you just get excited and I'm like, okay, here we go. Back in the car now, we've got Mia in the back as well. Um, I can't remember if I said before, but it's a staff day at Leg School at Nursery, so she is off today. So I've asked Ingmar if he can be off to be on her, um, and then all of this happened. So the midwife recommended that we get a test done just to check if it was amniotic fluid. She said that there are two or three other types of fluid that it can be, um, but she said it does sound like labor has started so we shall see we're going to go up to the hospital now um to have the test done and then we'll know <laughs> either way if it isn't amniotic fluid then it's just early labor which is a good thing but if it is then that means it is early labor and i will have this baby in the next 24 hours whether we're ready and we like it or not they will do whatever induction techniques to get labor moving so right now we have Mia's overnight bag packed and we're going to uh, make our sister to drop her off and I actually I feel really emotional about saying goodbye to Mia I think that's gonna be really hard my baby my brave girl we're back at the hospital. This feels so surreal. It does feel surreal because I don't think that this is going to be it. We have a good parking space, so <laughs> I really hope it is, this is it. But how do you feel? 80% um, stressed, 80% happy, 80% anxious. That makes sense. Here we go again. So the verdict of that was that it's not amniotic fluid. Um, she said that it can be many different kinds of water or discharge. I guess your body just sometimes needs to clear these things out before baby comes. Um, it has stopped and also contractions have stopped now. But Mia's taken care of for the next couple of hours so I said to Ingmar, let's go for lunch whilst we can. So that's what we're gonna do. Go and have a curry <laughs> and uh, go for a walk. Jog. Jog. Just sprint. Let's do some star jumps <laughs> and everything else <laughs> delicious there's little Mia nobody in this chair yet <laughs> but we had a, a good waddle around the mall just to get a walk in and uh, now we're just gonna go home and relax for a little bit hey so today is the 14th and Last night was a pretty bad night. I had a lot of Braxton Hicks. Um, every time I turned it over, it went away. So that's how I know that it wasn't a contraction and we're fine this morning. But I had a lot of lightning crotch as well. Waking up to that was not fun. But today I am scheduled for a sweep, which I really didn't want to have to do, but I am now, what am I, 39 plus three days, I think. So yeah gonna do a sweep. Um, Ingmar has the delight of coming with me and supporting. Things are starting to happen. I definitely have a lot of lower back pain. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will do something and we will update. Oh, right, that really wasn't as bad as I was expecting it was gonna be. Just breathed through it. You were trying to, you were trying to get me to talk to her. Not a chance. Um, yeah, over in like less than two minutes it was definitely more than a minute but yeah. um she said that i am about three to four centimeters. three to four centimeters dilated which is great so now we're gonna enjoy this beautiful weather and go for a little autumnal walk just the two of us three of us yeah three of us and see if my waters break mm. <laughs> she said I can I feel, yeah i can feel the head and then you are just whoo it got very real. It's getting, getting really real, yes. Yep. <laughs> Look at this beautiful view. Thank you. 
a lovely autumnal walk. Some of the colors here are just gorgeous. I'll turn this way. Look at that. Yay, it hasn't all blown away yet. <laughs> oh, it's nice to have a little bit of sunshine as well. So. Are good coffees? Yeah. A little stretch of the legs. I don't think that anyone will hear anything because of the Yeah. Waterfall. Maybe not wise to go to a waterfall when you're heavily pregnant and need to pee every two minutes. <laughs> I think my water's just broke. Okay, I think we can safely say the waters are breaking. I am having contractions that are five minutes apart, lasting for just under a minute. I can talk through them still, so it's totally fine. I feel really warm, need to drink, need to try and eat something. Um, We just phoned the hospital to let them know what's going on. And Ingmar phoned his sister, so she is currently here swapping over the car seat for Mia. Oh, I won't even see Mia, maybe. So she'll go and pick her up from nursery and look after her. Thank you, Ella. Um, I phoned my mum, let her know. Well, no, mum phoned me. Of course she knew. She just knew. So let them know. And yeah, this is baby just rocking back and forth because that's what feels good right now oh i think another one's coming there she is the love of my life We're back in the car. <laughs> this time the hospital bag is here, the pillow is here, the water bottle is here, the contractions are here, the water has broken and we're heading in. We have hit every single red light on the way in. We're just taking it nice and steady. Look at this beautiful sunset. I don't know what you can see but I feel exhausted already. It's not a good start. Um, I We were timing the contractions, but again, like Mia, they were just all over the place. And I had a cluster of them there, so we're just gonna go in and get checked, and hopefully they don't send us home. You have another red light? Yeah. Oh, and another contraction. Okay. Your handbag looks lovely. Let's do this. Hey guys. So we're at the hospital right now. We are in a birthing room, but it's hopefully only a temporary one because we're gonna be last for one with a birthing pool. To the second floor in the maternity ward, and there we had Sonia had a checkup, and they were checking her dilation, taking her vitals, and as her contractions are coming in pretty strong and fast right now, uh, the decision was made to move us up to a room with a birthing pool, but the pool is pool room is occupied at the moment so we're gonna have to wait for half an hour hour until we get the room so we were moved up onto the third floor so we could get gas well son you could get I'm not allowed apparently some regulations don't get this uh, but we're pretty good and Sonia is as you can see she's smiling again the gas is working so yeah five centimeters dilated um, moved up to this temporary room we've met our midwife We've seen the bed that he'll be in <laughs> and yeah, the contractions are coming on strong and long and there's only like 20 seconds between them. So not much of a break. Yeah. Just like that, yesterday, the 14th of October, our son joined our family. I will introduce you to him right now. He's with his daddy. Welcome to Iceland Family Life, little Angus Odin. 
Yay! He is absolutely gorgeous. Look at him. Mm -hmm. Yay! Hey! So I will summarize the birth. <laughs> it was a, a good experience now that I've slept on it for an hour and a half. <laughs> it was an all natural birth. Um, and I don't know, how many hours did it last? Six, maybe? Four, maybe. Four. Less than four. Less than four. <laughs> and he came out in maybe, how many pushes do you reckon? Twelve. Twelve okay. pushes, but he came flying out on the final push yeah. and landed on the bed and I just went back, squatted backwards, picked him up, got him on my chest and turned over and just snuggled in. It was amazing. It was, it was quite the experience. <laughs> Exhausting, but well worth it. So he weighs Obviously, I can't remember any of this. 3,810 3, grams. Which is 8.4 pounds. 50 centimetres. 50 centimetres long. He weighs more than Mia, but Mia was taller than him yeah. by 2 centimetres. But he's doing great. He latched on straight away. And yeah, he's been, he's already thrown up on his daddy and thrown up on his lovely new outfit. <laughs> so I'm just going to get myself ready now, slowly. And then we're going to go home and do the whole introducing Mia to her little brother. Ah! Are we ready? Yeah, I think we're ready. <laughs> Next visit will be a breeze. Welcome to the outside world! We did it. I can actually walk. I'm quite surprised how well I'm doing. I mean, I'm waddling on ice but the car is just around here so we're yeah we've done it i'm so proud of myself <laughs> i'm proud of us i'm so proud of us puppy scene yeah good there it will come in mia good there good there Painted. I got a cat. Yeah, a cat. Meow. Yeah. 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 <laughs>